Hello, I'm Dr. Kim Nichols, board certified dermatologist and founder of Nichols MD of Greenwich with three practices in Greenwich, Connecticut, Stanford, Connecticut, and now Fairfield, Connecticut. Today, I'm so excited to be demonstrating three of my favorite treatments with three of my favorite products. And that's Dyspore to treat the glabellar frown lines and relax those. Sculptra, which is the collagen stimulating filler that's gonna give us some volume and lift. And Restylane Kiss, which is my favorite product for the lips dedicated to lips only because it helps not only with enhancing the volume and the structure of the lip, but most importantly, in improving the texture and lines and softening to give a beautiful kind of lip gloss appearance to the lips. So let's get started. Hi, Alicia. I'm Dr. Nichols. Hi, so Dr. nice to Nichols. meet you. Welcome, so nice welcome. To meet you. So nice to meet you. Thank you. So I'm really excited about the treatments we're going to be doing today. Yes. But tell me a little bit about, you know, what you've been starting to see. I mean, gosh, you have a gorgeous face. So, mm -hmm. you know, tell me a little bit about what you want to start working on or, or what's starting to bother you and we'll talk about what we can do. Okay, awesome. Yes, yeah, so um, I'm a professional ballerina as well as a model and actress, so I'm very expressive with my face a lot of the times. Um, and I've noticed that I've started to develop some expression lines that I'd want to fix. Um, also, uh, what my lips are like my favorite feature um, of my face, um, but I just love the, the look of, you know, full lips that I would uh, love. And also, I've heard some great things about Sculptra, so My I would favorites. definitely love to try that out. Yeah, and I think you're a great candidate for all of them, but just with a awesome. very, you know, kind of light touch. Yeah. You've got very delicate features. Of course, you're yes. a ballerina. <laughs> um, so um, we want to keep everything kind of soft and yes. natural looking. Okay. So softening these frown lines a little bit with Dysport, I think okay. that would be a great idea. Cool. Um, and then using the Sculptra, and you've got a great shaped lips. Like you said, mm. it really is, you know, one of your best features. Thank you. But just enhancing it a little bit with the yes. Wrestling Kiss, softening up. Yeah. Um, you know, the features there, I think you're gonna love it. Awesome, thank you so much, I'm so excited. Me too. <laughs> so today we're gonna start with the Dysport. Okay. And really that's gonna be to help to, you know, relax those frown lines that we talked about, because I know you mm -hmm. use them a lot. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, that's what a lot of people do. Genetically, mm -hmm. some of us have very strong expressions. I know I do too. Mm -hmm. So helping to use the Dysport to kind of relax those a little bit will, will help with that in terms of what you're seeing in terms of those expression lines. All right, so let's start with making a very strong frown for me here. Good. Yeah, great. Wow, you have, you have a really nice glabellar net, network of muscles here. And just pointing out, we're going to be doing five injections into this glabellar muscle. One is going to be into the medial belly of the procerus. One's going to be a deeper injection into the um, medial corrugator. A more superficial injection into the lateral corrugator and that'll be on both sides. So really just five quick injection points, and that's gonna treat this entire glabellar area for your frown lines. Are you ready to get started? Yes. Okay, let's do it. So my assistant Cassandra is gonna help me today. So Alicia, make that frown again. And I really like to kind of hold the belly of the muscles and then have the patient relax. Perfect, and then we can start our injections. So first we're gonna be doing, we're using 50 units on label here. And this is gonna be a deeper injection into the medial corrugator. And then frown again for me. You see here that lateral corrugator just jumps up there, but see how it comes more superficial and that's where we wanna hit it. So we're gonna do a more superficial injection there. And Cassandra's holding a little distraction device. It just helps with the injections for the patient. And then frown hard again for me. Good. And you really can see that medial belly, the corrugator. I always kind of go around the patient. Good. And then we're going to do one more here in the lateral belly. Wow, what a good candidate. <laughs> you really pop out there. That's great. So that's it. So we used the, the 50 units there and we separated them into the procerus and the corrugator muscles. All right, Alicia, so it was that easy. How are you feeling? Amazing, that good. was so easy. Good, good, good. <laughs> Let's 
let's just look at your uh, lip anatomy a little bit with everybody. So looking here, when you look at the medial tubercle of her upper lip, she likes to have just a little bit more enhancement there, bringing up those you know, two corners there of the, of the cupid's bow. So we're gonna do some linear threading injections. They're very superficial. You actually don't need to use a lot of, of the filler to get a great result because we're using these tiny superficial injections, which you'll see once we get started with the actual injections. And then just like all of us, Alicia has beautiful structure to her lips, but she does have a little bit of asymmetry here where we see this right lateral tubercle goes in a little bit more than the left. So when you're comparing here, so I am going to do um, some injections, linear injections, fanning technique right here on the right lateral tubercle to just give a little bit more show here and have it more symmetric next to the left. So we'll do that. And then for the bottom lip, she really doesn't need any volume enhancement. All she needs is just a few linear injections in the middle of the lip, which will help enhance and soften some of the lines and improve the texture of her lips, which is one of the my you know favorite things about Wrestling Kiss as compared to some of the other fillers. All right, are we ready to get started? Yes. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna start with those injections right here in the medial tubercle of the upper lip, just to give a little bit of enhancement and a nice little pout there. So the key is, like I said, to go very superficial. And I'm gonna go not above the vermilion border, not in the vermilion, but really just at the border. So I'm gonna turn you a little bit here. And you're gonna see I'm going right at the border with these very superficial injections. I pull out. And you can see that lift with a tiny bit. And then just using the gauze for a soft little massage as we go along. How are you doing? Good. Good. And I like to reassess. Again, very superficial. So remember, you want to see the needle when you lift, but you don't want to see the color of the needle. That shows you right in the right place to fill that tube. And we're just doing slow. The key with this lip filler, of course, is always going very slow. It helps the patient's comfort also. And you can see how we're just, we've only used 0.1 and we're already getting this beautiful look here to her medial tubercle. I think that's actually very good. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's got very nice lips, so she really doesn't need much. And again, so let's just turn towards me here I'm going right through the vermilion border, very superficial, doing great. And again, I can see the needle when I lift, but I can't see the color. That shows me I'm in the right place. And a little bit of massage there. Beautiful. And again, just 0 0.05, a filler there. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna do that right lateral tubercle injection. Just a little bit of fanning superficially to get this right lateral side to be more symmetric with the left side. So Alicia, I'm gonna have you turn a little bit there. And if you see here, as I turn the lip to prepare for the injections, I'm gonna go in the vermilion itself right above the wet dry border. And that's gonna give that little turnout that we want that she already has naturally on the left side. And again, very superficial. So you see here, I'm right in the vermilion, right above the wet dry border. Again, pulling the needle. I can see the needle, but I can't see the color of the needle and I'm doing anterior grade and retrograde, tiny superficial fanning injections. She does not need a lot here. I'm gonna do a little massage, see how that turned out. Good, so we're getting there just a little bit more. I'm gonna go even more lateral here, right to the oral commissure. So you're doing great. Again, very superficial, pulling up my needle just to see. You see how it just fills 
up so easily when you're in the right place. And you really don't need a lot of filler to get a great result when you're doing it that way. Let's take a look. Wow, pretty. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Looks great. Beautiful, I think we're good there. I'm gonna do a little bit of an injection just in the Cupid's bow, just to enhance the shape there. And for that I come across, and again, I'm gonna go right into the border there. With a tiny little injection, right in the bow itself, at pointing so to, to the top of the bow there. And again, on the other side. Just enhancing that natural shape she's got, which is a gorgeous one. Beautiful. So we're almost done with her lips. Again, she didn't need a lot, but I do want to soften some of the lines and improve a little bit of the texture of the bottom lip. And for that, I just do some superficial linear injections into the middle of the uh, bottom lip there. And that's where most of the lines there you see. And it's gonna really help to soften and also give her a teeny bit more pout because her upper lip is looking so gorgeous. All right, so we'll get started again. I'm in the vermilion itself, not in the border, just in the vermilion itself, just to improve some of the texture to very linear injections. And you can again see the needle, but you can't see the color of it. You see how I'm just threading here. Such a small amount of filler. I'm up to, I've used about 0.4 so far in total. Now I'm going a little bit more medial. Again, just that fanning coming out. And again, the lateral commissures of her bottom lip look great. So I don't think we really need to do anything much with them. But now I'm gonna come to the other side. Oh wow, these are gonna mm -hmm. look so good. And again, just a little superficial fanning. It's almost like lip gloss, to be honest with you. Kiss, it really gives kind of that lip gloss look and people don't even know that you've had any filler done. They just wanna know where you bought that <laughs> lip gloss. We don't tell them. <laughs> now again, just a teeny bit of fanning, very superficial. How you doing, Alicia? Good. Good. All right, so. I'm gonna do one little, another one here, and then we should be all set. And again, I'm in the vermilion itself, very superficial. Just to enhance her already beautiful pout. I love it. Hmm. All right, so let's sit you up. Okay. And let's take a look and we'll check for everything. All right, Alicia, so we finished the lip treatment with the Wrestling Kiss and your lips look amazing and I want you to see them. I'm so so here's a mirror, so take a look and see what you think. <gasps> oh my God. Don't they look good? Yes, this is perfect. They look so good. They just yeah. look subtle, sweet, soft, and beautiful. really enhance your already beautiful shape. Yes. So why don't I you give it, it a kiss? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alicia, so now we're gonna begin the sculpture treatment that we were talking about. So remember, sculpture is a collagen stimulating type of filler. You don't need a lot, just a subtle enhancement. And when we're looking at Alicia's face here, we can see Alicia actually turned down a little bit. I think that's the best way to show it. We're seeing a little bit of volume loss here, which is causing the nasal labial folds and the marionette lines to be more prominent. So we're gonna use this sculpture here in the back in the preauricular area, in the lower uh, submalar cheek area to give some lift here, which I think was all we need to help with that 
bit of volume loss we're getting here in the mid cheek and the nasal labial fold, which is something that earlier in the consultation you did mention was starting to bother you. So we're gonna start today with just, you know, she's got a very petite face, so I don't wanna overcorrect. So we're gonna start today with just one vial of Sculptra, and then we'll bring her back in about four to six weeks for a possible second treatment. And that way we can ev evaluate after we've seen what the collagen generation has happened over those four to six weeks. I'm excited, are you? Yes, very. Great. So Alicia, we're gonna begin the injections and there's not a lot of injections for the sculpture today. Now I know we've already disinfected Alicia's face, but we'll just do another little clean, little alcohol. And the key with Sculptra is to always make sure that you're continually inverting the syringe, making sure that the PLLA particles are fully distributed before you inject. And we're also gonna be aspirating as we inject also and injecting just small amounts at a time. So if you could just turn your head, and I hope you guys can see this. Really, I just wanna start working, like I said, on that preauricular area, and we don't need a lot uh, with Alicia today. She only needs a little bit of lift. And we're gonna come over here towards the nasal labial folds to help correct that. Now, Alicia, you're gonna feel a little, this is that preauricular. Again, we're in that subdermal plane. And we're just doing tiny, usually about 0.1 per injection threading technique here. And again, moving along as we go. Gonna aspirate. And then just do slow subdermal injections. Again, just, you'll be amazed at how little sculpture you need to get a beautiful effect there. And now I'm gonna go a little bit more medial here in that area here, we're gonna address the nasal labial folds. And again, I'm gonna come from below, making sure my PLLA is distributed well. And I wanna go medial to the nasal labial folds. I wanna lift them, not act, um, accentuate them. So again, being careful in terms of how much you're using and where we're distributing it. So we've almost gone through the three cc's here. I also want to address this little uh, area here in terms of the chin area where the marionette lines start to appear. Again, just to give a little lift. She doesn't need a lot. And just kind of 0 0.1, 0.05 is all you need. All right, we can come back a little bit here. Perfect. And already we're starting to see some lift here. If you can remember that fold that was there, which is gonna be really lovely. All right, so now we're about almost halfway through in terms of um, the amount that we're gonna use on this side of the face. And again, I'm gonna come from underneath, addressing closer to the uh, superior portion of the nasal labial fold there near the alar rim. And again, subdermal injections, aspirating as we go along. Good. Lisa, how are you doing? Good. Good. It's gonna be really nice. Mm -hmm. And then same thing almost done with this side, pointing again a little bit more towards the medial cheek, which is where she needs a little volume there. Now key of course with Sculptra afterwards is the massage. So we'll be doing that massage for five minutes, five times per day for five days. And it's really sort of these just little circular motions. 
I tell my patients they don't need to kill themselves when they're doing the massage, and Cassandra will do the first massage for her today just after we complete the injections. All right, so let's move on to the other side. I think that's gonna be great on the right side. Okay, so we're already halfway through the sculpture injection for Alicia, and now we're gonna do the left side of her face, basically the same as we did on the right side. So again, distributing those particles, inverting the syringe as you go along. And then I'm gonna start in that preauricular area just to give a little lift there. Aspirating as I go. And again, just using that little threading technique. Good. Give a little massage there. Then I'm gonna bring it back a little bit here. I'm gonna address the inferior portion of the nasolabial fold. You guys can see those particles in there. A lovely visual. And then we'll address the superior part, just in that, just to give a little lift there. And again, not a lot. That was about 0.1 total. And then we're gonna address that submalar region where she needs a little bit of a lift there and a little bit of volume actually. I know ballerinas mm -hmm. Burn through everything, so. I'm so impressed. <laughs> All right, we're almost done. I just want to adjust, uh, address this left marionette line area again. She's starting to get a little downturn of the oral commissure there just to do to a little bit of volume loss there. So again, just threading a bit, maybe 0 0.1, 0 0.15 in that area is gonna give her a beautiful lip. I always uh, lift. I always tell patients when they say, if we're doing their lips like we did with Alicia for, with Wrestling Kiss, if we just do the lips and don't support around the lips, then it's sort of gonna be not as good as it, it can be. So again, that's gonna be part of her full basis uh, treatment that she's getting today. All right, I think we have a little bit left. I'm just gonna address this area here. Good, aspiration. You guys can see the particles there. Excellent. So that was it. And I'm usually the one who starts the massage on the patient, but I always tell people five minutes is actually a pretty long time. So definitely time it, because you'd be surprised. It's just like when you, the dentist tells you to brush your teeth for two minutes and <laughs> You only do it for 30 seconds. But again, these little circular injections and it help it distribute over the next five days. We're gonna bring you back in about four to six weeks for an evaluation of whether you need a second treatment or you're good. Again, you didn't really have a lot of volume loss as it is, so you might get away with just the one, but we'll see. Most patients with sculpture are either two to three treatments depending, so we'll evaluate at that point. But otherwise, we're gonna start the massage with Cassandra. Do you have any questions before we get started with that part? No, I think I'm good to go. Awesome, all right, can't wait to see the results. Same. <laughs> Absolutely love my treatment. It's, I expected it to be great, but it's even better than I expected.